right guys so a quick video in ACC right now this is this is going to be about uh, custom liveries and how in the menu they look nice and sharp um, you can see I can zoom in here and everything is pretty nicely defined right but yet when you go to the track um, everything becomes uh, a bit of a a bit of a pixelated mess um, so you can see there there's the there's the delivery so let's uh, jump and uh, select this at uh, doesn't matter what track I'm just gonna pop into Imola here um, now what you'll see is look at the GS sim racing uh, logo on the left there a pixelated mess the Amigos racing team is very messy um, in fact let's uh, let's just jump into the car and let's uh, let's have a look around at uh, how bad this I mean <laughs> wow it is very very messy right um, now I'll explain why this happens in a moment um, and there is a change that we can make to get this looking um, a lot better um, and I've done a bit of searching online I've come up with a couple of things now when you're at a distance it doesn't look too bad it's sort of cool yeah but when you get close up like this I mean uh, what you know it, it it's it, it's terrible isn't it it's absolutely awful so what we'll do is let's uh, let's stop this one here um, I'm gonna make a little change in the background we'll jump back onto the track and uh, we'll see the same car but looking a lot sharper so uh, yeah let's let's check back in a minute with those changes all right so what causes um, that pixelated mess in the first place right um, two things so let's have a look uh, and figure out exactly what's going on first of all so here is my um, this is my livery right so um, as anyone that's aware or you know familiar with liveries just make these large icons right so you have a um, sponsor uh, layer um, and this is it here so this is basically what comes out of your you know Photoshop or GIMP or whatever uh, tool that you use what happens is when you load the car for the first time in the in the user interface menu where your car is in the showroom basically uh, within the game that generates um, a, a sponsors file a DDS file and then the first time you load it onto a track um, it generates a second file um, and what happens is um, if you look at the the file sizes right the original is 778 kilobits the one for the showroom is 21 uh, 21 megs the one for the track though um, let me just hover over this again is only five megs right so a quarter the size of the showroom one now this was something kunos introduced a while back uh well it's in a good while actually to be fair and the whole idea was is that um anyone joining multiplayer sessions you didn't get uh lag spikes right because the file for the custom livery uh, was very light so no issues there so how to fix all this right so go back to the root um uh, competizione uh, folder yeah then what you want to do is go to uh, the config file and from there you want to go down to the menu settings uh, JSON and uh, yeah just just open that up and this is what we're going to be met with um, from here just uh, do the usual control F and you're looking for uh, the texture uh, line and let us find the texture line right so this here is the texture cap right so this is set to one it's basically going to load that dds uh, one file for the for the circuit um so what you want to do is just change that one to is zero and this will force the use of the dds uh, zero file which is the same file that is used in the showroom so make the change save the file uh, what we'll do is I'll shut this down we'll jump back into ACC we'll take the same car to the same track exact same situation and uh, yeah we will see the difference all right so back into ACC just uh, loading up uh, as uh, normal and um, so there's the car same one again in the showroom um, and remember the last time when we went to the track this uh, GS Sim Racing logo was pixelated to pieces this one couldn't be made out at all the amigos racing team logos looked absolutely terrible um and the uh insta handle and the, the youtube um advertising were just a complete disaster as well so 
Let's jump back in. Um, and look, we can see straight away the GS Sim Racing logo is nowhere near as pixelated. We can make out this logo a lot better. And the Amigo symbol and the the, the logos at the back um, are, are vastly improved. So let's uh, jump outboard um, and just look at this from a, a normal um, kind of distance. And I mean, look at the difference, how clear stuff is. You're still going to have a tiny bit of pixelation, right? So not everything is going to be absolutely you know, spot on, but in the grand scheme of things, this is a huge improvement versus the DDS file uh, auto loading in. Um, so yeah, this this is it, guys. So this is you know, if you make a custom livery file, um, what you want to do is just simply go into your menu JSON file, make that change that we just saw. Now, caveat to this, right? I haven't tested uh, this on a full grid. Um, so I, you know, I, I don't know how it's going to impact performance. Now I have um, a, an RTX 3090, so you know I, I, I have DLSS turned on as well, actually. So the graphics card usually um, isn't an issue. But um, what I will do is I will keep an eye. But to be fair, I don't see a huge performance hit. Like I mean, it, it's purely it, this was brought out purely to help uh, joiners of an online session. And when you look at the file size, we're talking five megs to twenty. 21 megabits um so you know it, it, it's not a huge load by any means uh certainly not compared to the you know the rest of the stuff going on um but yeah that's it guys hopefully this helps uh, people and if you've made a nice beautiful livery and you want to see it in all of its glory um yeah just make that change the game will load up without the dds1 file uh it will load the dds0 file which is the same file from the the showroom pretty much and uh yeah you can see the difference for yourself so go and enjoy and yeah thanks for watching hopefully this helps you and yeah let's get those liveries out there and um, again just before wrapping this video i haven't tested it on a full grid i haven't tested it going online or any of that stuff this is purely you've made a livery you've put a lot of effort in and you load it up on track and it looks crap for the first time um, and the second time and the third time and whatever purely because it's pixelated to pieces with that compressed file Good luck and yeah, get painting. Thanks for watching.